Welcome back to my channel, The Queen Phoenix. Today we're making this cute stingray keychain. So this is the front. This is the back. For this tutorial, you will require a bit of black. You can either use embroidery floss or some leftover yarn that you have. For this one, I'm going to make it two colors. So the top, I'm using this blue. And for the bottom, I've got this white. You will also require a crochet hook of the appropriate size, a darning needle. If you don't have a darning needle, a smaller size crochet hook. A keychain, a set of googly eyes. If you don't, if you're not using googly eyes, a pair of buttons, you can also use a darning needle and make a set of black eyes or whatever color you are using eyes for this. You can also use safety eyes and a pair of scissors, a set of pliers to open your jump ring. And that's about it. It's a great project for any leftover yarn that you have lying around. This project is worked in two pieces, a top and a bottom piece. Let me just move all of that out of the way. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's make this. I'd also like to invite you to subscribe to this channel, which is updated weekly with free patterns and tutorials. Okay, so for this pattern, you're going to make a slip knot, first of all. And you're going to chain four. Once you have your four chain, into the second chain, you're going to work one single crochet. Into the next chain, you're going to work two single crochets or an increase. And in the last chain, you are going to work a single crochet. Row one has a total of four stitches. For row two, chain one and turn your work. You're going, going to make two single crochets in each of the four stitches across this row. When you get to the end of row two, you will have a total of eight stitches. Chain one and turn your work for row three. Row three, in the very first stitch, you're going to increase. That means make two double, two single crochets in that first stitch. Now you're going to make work one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. So that's three, four, five, six. In your last stitch, you're going to increase, which is two single crochets in that stitch. At the end of this row three, you will have a total of 10 stitches. Row four, chain one and turn your work. In the very first stitch, make your increase. In the next eight stitches, one single crochet in the next eight, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In your last stitch, an increase, which is two double crochets. At the end of row four, you have a total of 12 stitches. For row five, chain one and turn your work and increase into the very first stitch. Single crochet across the next 10 stitches, one single crochet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. In your last stitch, two single crochets. 
This is row 5 complete. For row 6, chain 1 and turn your work. In the very first stitch, make 2 single crochets. 1 single crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. That's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. In your last stitch, make an increase, which is two single crochets. This is row 6 and done. Turning now to row, se row 7, chain 1 and turn your work. For row 7, once two single crochets or an increase into the very first stitch, one single crochet in each of the next 14 stitches across, that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. In your last stitch, make an increase, which is two single crochets. This is row 7. For row 8, chain 1 and turn your work. You will work one single crochet in each stitch across. When you come to the end of this round, you will have a total of 18 single crochets. Not round, row. This is me making the 18 stitch for row 8. Chain one and cut your tail. Find the right hand side. You're going to attach the same color yarn to the seven stitch. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's going to go in yarn. You want to make a single crochet. I'm just going to put that tail in there. That's one single crochet. Now single crochet across the next five stitches, one single crochet each. That's two, three, four, five. I have a total of six single crochets here with the one that I first made. Chain one and turn your work. Now make one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Do, pull up your loop. Do not cut your tail off. Right. The first thing I'd like you to do, the tail where you started, work that into this body. You can leave it hanging in the body because this requires a bit, oh, I forgot to say, this requires a bit of stuffing in just a teeny bit in the middle of the stingray. So I'm just moving the ends to the center. Now, for the back, you're going to make the exact same thing. Rows one to 10, make the exact same thing, but cut your tail. Right. So I've made my back in a back but of black. This is the back and this is the right side facing. I am going to take a bit of black. Even embroidery cotton works just as well. And I'm going to put a mouth on, a mouth on this, the back part. 
Now, this is up to you. How you want your mouth, where you want it, all of the above. It's up to you. But if you can see here, I've put this in between the third and the fifth row. So the third row, I'm just going to look at it. It's two stitches in. I'm going into that third row and I'm going to hold a piece of my black at the back. Two stitches away here, so that's about there. I'm not making this huge. I'm not pulling it completely. I want a piece left. Then I'm going into the fourth, in between the fourth and the fifth row, or the fifth row, or the fourth row, and I'm coming through the middle. Let me just move this tail out of the way. And I'm going to go underneath that it makes that V shape and slightly below, just slightly below the stitch that I went through, I'm going to go back into, I'm going to fix it up just like that. So that is nice for me. I'm going to go to the back and I'm going to tie a knot. Because I'm stitching both pieces together, I can leave the ends loose or if it's going to get on your nerves or get in your way or any of that, then you can just cut them out of the way. It's your choice. So this is the back the mouthpiece is made. Right, now back to the front piece. If you are using safety eyes, now would be a great time to attach them. And you're going to attach them in the second to last row, three stitches apart. I'm not using safety eyes or buttons, so I will glue them on at the end. Now I'm going to take both pieces. This is the part I'm working on, the front. I'm going to put the back and match it. I'm going to put my needle back in. So I have both back sides facing of this project. I'm first going to insert my hook into the row below. Can you see how I'm doing that? So now I'm going to do that while I, when I have both together. I'm going to insert my hook into the ninth row, go through both loops, and slip stitch. I am going to slip stitch in each and every stitch across. I'm just lining the exact same stitches up because it's the exact same measurement all the way to the very end. I'm going to take this tail that's lying here and I'm just going to use a smaller size crochet hook and pull it through one of the stitches so that it comes inside the project and I'm just going to put it there and I'm going to continue to slip stitch right around. So when I turn and I'm going to do, you can actually see your rows here, there's eight rows, and you can make a slip stitch in each and every row. This one feels a bit too tight, let me do it again. You might have to turn it a little bit, just so that you get your stitches where you want them to be. 
I leave all of that up to you. If you don't want to um, stitch it like this, that is also fine. You can use a darning needle or whichever joining you prefer. So this is one way of joining it. The second way and the way I prefer doing it is by making slip stitches. So I go into the ninth row of both and I make a slip stitch. And I slip stitch in each and every stitch right around. This is my preferred method of joining the stingray Just getting a bit more yarn. I'm turning it to the side and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the side. Now I've slip stitched right across and I'm coming up to the mouthpiece again. When I make that last stitch, I am only going to stuff a little here. So I'm going to leave the fins empty. I just want to put a, a tiny bit of stuffing. So whatever stuffing you're using, now I have a lot of these scraps lying around from the amount of crocheting I, doing, I do. And I'm sure you do. Keep them. They're ideal for stuffing. Especially when you have these tiny little projects, you can just stuff them with some leftover yarn. I'm just going to pull it a bit. I think I need a tad bit more. Not too much. And only the middle, that is where I'm stuffing. You know, this middle section here. So I have enough stuffing, let me put the rest away, and I'm going to slip stitch the top closed, excuse me, single crochet this top closed. Let me just make that stitch a bit tighter. This is a cute little gift. My last stitch is going to go into the 10th round. I'm going to cut my tail, right, pull through, and I'm going to go immediately on, put that thread onto a darning needle, go into the stitch, into that part of the stitch, so that it gives you a stitch there and I'm going to go through some of the loops on the top of the head I want to make a knot but I want to make one that nobody can see so I'm going to do it in between two stitches and push it through the back by going through the back of a few stitches and push it again through a few more stitches right to the end here go back in because I want this yarn to stay inside here 
as much as I can possibly get inside it. And the last part, I'm just going to use the back of my needle and push it through. I have pushed that through nicely so you can't see it. So this is the back or the underneath and this is the top. Now let's quickly make this tail piece. You're going to make a slip knot. And you're going to attach it to the middle stitch. So this is your head part. You want to attach it here to the bottom. So somewhere about there. And you're going to chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you're going to make a slip stitch in each of the, in the second stitch and then each chain across until you come to the very last one. Should also put a slip stitch in. Chain one, cut your yarn. Now you're going to weave these into the body also. So this is the one that I just finished. So here's the stitch I went into. I'm going to go into the next stitch. Try and make a knot wherever possible. And you're going to feed it through into the body. And I'm coming out in, the bl in a blue section. Don't pull this too tight. I'm gonna go through that stitch. Do the exact same thing. And I'm going to cut this flush against the body so that you don't see it. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other tail. Just feed it into the body. I am going to go ahead and put on this key ring. Yes, please open your jump rings with two sets of pliers. I am still going to add a bead to this and a drop of glue so that it stays completely shut. Hence, I'm only using one pair of pliers. The last thing I'm going to do, I'm using this um, glue. It dries clear. I'm going to attach a pair of eyes. So I've just put on a little glue and eye number one. Eye number two. If you're giving this to a small kid, please do not put googly eyes. They will chew it off. Please use um, safety eyes or stitch on a pair of eyes with some black uh, wool or black embroidery floss. So this is it. Your stingray all nicely made. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, tag me in the video that you make. 
Most importantly, hit like, comment, subscribe, all of that. But I'd like you to enjoy crocheting. I know it's a bit of an expensive hobby, but um, it's extremely good for stress and depression, anxiety. Yes, it's, it's a good stress reliever. And making something to give to somebody is very rewarding. So thank you so much for watching. This is the Queen Phoenix, out. I'll get you on the next video.